welcome to our channel. Hello. Hello. If you enjoy learning about reptiles and having a good laugh, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Hit. Smash it. Smash. Smash it. Smash it right now. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Hit. Smash. Smash it. Smash. Okay. Smash. Oh, okay, as long as I'm filming. Good morning, everyone. Today's episode is going to be a very special one. It's about being true to yourself. If you're not true to yourself and you can't be you, then who are you going to be? Definitely someone not as interesting as yourself. So it's funny because my wife just woke up. I was hoping to do this before she uh, woke up, but anyways, as you can see, I'm wearing this wonderful dragon costume that um, you are not. I saw at the store, oh. and uh, I wanted it. And at the time, me and my dear wife were dating, and she said, Oh, that's stupid. That's dumb. What do you want to wear that for? So I decided that I, was, uh, I wasn't going to deal with that, you know? I, if I would like to dress up as a dragon, I should be able to. So I said, you know what? That's the last straw. I've had it. Bye-bye. So I left. And... Uh, Isn't that Stupid. Guess what? She ended up buying me this dragon outfit and writing me this beautiful letter. Let's start reading it. Matthew, no. <laughs> I hope this cheers you up, even though it's not my favorite. It's probably not going to change anything, but you're the one that taught me. It's not what someone wears, but who they are that makes them special and valuable. And out of everyone I know, you are awesome in or out of any costume. Even if it's a green heart-shaped dragon, and I love you. Whether you're my best friend or my boyfriend, you are my favorite person in the whole world. And I absolutely love being with you. I love everything. How you teach me. How you help me. How you listen. How you understand me. How you make me smile. It goes on for a whole two pages. So we'll stop there. But point has been made. Mama, she thinks she doesn't like it. I don't. It's but, going in the garbage. But if, <laughs> but if it was gone, if, if I was gone, her heart would not be able to continue. You're Anyways. right, people. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Beautiful. No, the garbage. So basically, the point that I'm making is just. I was like, this was like five years ago, people. Okay, so the point that I'm Very making. Stupid. The point that I'm making is just be yourself. You know, the thing that stops you from doing things that you want to do is you. You know, you go through life, and you you say from the time you're small, we go to school, and school tells us. Go to university, go to college, get a degree, become someone. <laughs> you know, and we're pushed to do all these things that our parents want us to do or that society wants us to do. And our dreams of becoming firemen or policemen or professional 007 agents or whatever, they get crushed because we're always being told you can't do that. But the only person that really can tell you you can't do that is yourself. So if you want to do something, if you want to achieve a goal, work for it. Do it. And understand that if I dress this way or behave silly or stupid, does that mean I am stupid? Am I a stupid person? No. But people will look at you like that. So some people might look at this and be like, look at him, he's an idiot. What is he wearing? I'm not going to listen to him. Okay, so if you don't listen, then you don't deserve to hear what I have to say. Wonderful. What is No, no, it's true. So, 
don't even know what to say now. Good. <laughs> Why don't you take off this stupid costume? <laughs> it's not a stupid costume. It's cute. I like it. Avery likes it. it. I'm sure Avery's you guys... never even seen it, and she's not going. I'm to sure it. you guys all like it. Come on, give me some love. You know, some likes. And, um... Can somebody, like, comment and agree with me on my side? When, when somebody... When you want to do something, just do it. That's the big thing that separates the doers from the naysayers. The other people look around and say, Oh, you're stupid. Or, oh, you can't do that. You're never going to do that. You're never going to achieve anything. And I'm telling you, you can. Do it. Forget about normal and should. I think that's another thing that... It's hard. It's like we're, we're, we're in this world where we're supposed to be like everybody behaves like, oh, everyone can do whatever they want and say whatever they want and feel whatever they want. But as soon as you feel anything or want to do anything that is out of the norm, you're in trouble. Big trouble. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just wanted to put this on and share that with everyone. I have three more minutes. I have three more minutes. Yes, so lots of the time people that tell you what you cannot do are people that have never done anything themselves. That's another thing. So, uh, they... Same thing on online, when you're looking at the people telling other people, oh, you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that. To me, I'm going to listen to the person that has experience over the person that read something online or whatever and now is giving advice. I think that experience means a lot more. So... I'm just going to stop now. There, you'll get a, a short 10 minute. Oh. I'm camera shy. Wife, why don't you keep talking to everyone? I'm all for being yourself. Just don't be a retard. Uh, okay, why don't I keep reading this? That's how I can finish this. <laughs> the subject of your stuff. Hey, no. Give it. She loves me. She just doesn't like that she loves me. No. Yeah. Does anybody else's husband dress up in a pink heart dragon costume? And this is what I get compared to. Yeah. I'll do something and yeah. she'll be like, because no one else would do no, that. No, because it's weird. I'm like, well, that's that's because I'm wonderful. No, you're weird. And look, Every single time, every time, you know what, this time she didn't even fill it that much, but every single time she pours me coffee. You know what, he every asked me to leave time, space. She, like, look, this she is what happens when space, you don't have a quality dining table. She spilled coffee everywhere. There's not a quality dining table. So this leads to our next topic. <laughs> Taking pride in your work, you know, you have to have pride in what you do. I did, I mean. You a beautiful coffee. I actually made the coffee. You just put a bit of milk. I in it and assembled. Stuck it in cup. Okay? Assembled the coffee. But you have to, you have to look at what you do and do it with love. You know, not be, you know, spilling stuff all over the place. And so people, he's saying, if you spill things, you don't take pride in your work. Well, isn't that stupid? It's, there's a, you don't have to be sloppy. I'm not! We don't have a quality table! Oh, we don't have a quality table. It's the table's fault now. Okay. Wonderful. Anything else you'd like to tell everyone? That costume's going bye-bye. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Yeah, that was wonderful, wasn't it? Now make sure you click. Circle. Yeah, click the circle. Yeah, I did. And then watch this video or this one. No. Yeah? No. Yes, it's not that hard. Which one appeals to you more? Is it this one or is it this one?